Often we have more than one project running at the same time. And so what I want to do is show you how you create a master project and you insert a number of sub projects into that master. And that way you can watch various projects all running simultaneously at the same time. Let's save this particular project, which is a maintenance project for the Bushy Park property. So I'm just going to click Save. If any messages come up concerning the resource pool, I'd be going OK to those as well. I'm then going to turn around and go Save As. And I want to save this as another property. This is to be saved as the desktop, and it's to be saved with the name Endeavor. and OK, or Save. I'm also going to change the name in here so I know which one I'm viewing. And Save again. So I've got a maintenance contract over the property in Endeavour and I've got a maintenance contract over a property at Bushy Park. Now what I want to do is close all the files I have open. File, Close, and also close the resource pool. And I want to create a new project based on the template. So I'll choose Open and I'll click my standard maintenance contract template we made earlier. I want to name this particular project, so I'll save as, as my master overview. Oops. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'll click Save. I'm now going to insert each of the sub-projects into this master project. To do that, I'll go to the Project tab in the ribbon, and to the far left, I'll click the Sub-Project button. I want to start by inserting this Bushy Park project. So I select that project. I want to keep a link to that project, so if there's changes in that file, they're carried through to the master. But I also want to insert it as read only. That way I can't accidentally make changes to that project through the master. And there it is there. What I now want to do underneath that is insert another sub-project. So I go to the Project tab in the ribbon and I click the Sub-Project button. I'm going to choose the Endeavour project, keep a link to that project, and I'm going to insert it as Read Only. And there's the second project. And I can see both summer, project summary tasks showing here. If I then look in my Indicator column, I can rest on either of these options, and they basically tell me that this project has been inserted as Read Only, and what the name of the project is called, and where it's stored. If I want to open up these projects, I'll simply hit the triangle in front of Endeavour. This will want to open up the resource pool, because it has a shared resource pool, so I go OK. And that opens up Endeavour. I'll now hit the triangle in front of Bushy Park, and open up this property. And now I can see both of these projects running simultaneously. The whole idea here is that now if I wanted to, I could filter the particular project. I might move this to the right. And if I wanted to know where all my painters are going to be, I'd filter the resource name, Painter. And now I can see where my painters are going to be across those two projects. If I then want to clear the filter, I simply hit the funnel on the resource name column and I clear the filter. If I want to filter out just a certain level of tasks, I could go to the View tab, for example, and go to the Outline button and ask for Level 2. Level 2 will show me the main tasks in each of the projects, or I could ask for Level 3. So you can collapse and expand to the amount of detail you want. You can also filter just certain tasks. And so it becomes really handy to be able to see what's going on across projects um, using a master. So you still have those projects in their separate project file, but you insert them as sub-projects into a master. I'll go back to outline and show all tasks, and I'm back to seeing everything. Of course, the other thing is, now I'm starting to see little red men because there's over-allocation across the projects now. The projects were fine um, as individual projects, but now that the painters are required to be working on two projects at once, they are now over-allocated. And so now I would try to resolve any over-allocation using my master.